Hi, I'm Andrew Watson. Thanks for joining me for my weekly guitar blog. It's May 15th, 2016. This week we're going to do a lesson on jazz blues guitar covering horn style filler licks. And this week's question was sent in from Josh. He's out in Eugene, Oregon, and he wrote in with this email. I have a request for a video that has to do with jazzy blues rhythm guitar. A lot of the players in this style will add in what I think are called horn style shots with their rhythms. These ideas sound like smaller chords played within the same bar of music. Can you make a lesson that shows examples of this, but not too complicated? From Josh in Eugene, Oregon, USA. Okay, thanks a lot for writing in, Josh. This is a really cool sounding technique that blues and jazz guitar players will add into their rhythm playing. Now these smaller two note chords will get performed as filler ideas around rhythm parts. And you know, once a player has their basic chords down, and they can play those chords in context of let's say a 12 or even an eight bar blues. The uh, horn shot ideas are another great way, like an additional technique and you know one that are going to be not that difficult really to add in and perform. Uh, also, when you learn to add a few of these horn shots uh, into your mix, they're gonna be tending to you know feel kind of easier you know, to be able to expand upon and go forward with creating more and more of them as time goes on. So it won't really take too long for a few of these ideas to turn into many more variations for you. Now in this lesson, I'm going to introduce a few of these horn style shot licks and uh, basically help you to get started with uh, using them, applying them, and getting them into a mix of uh, both uh, eight and 12 bar blues progressions. You could even use them in a 16 bar blues. Most of what I have uh, in this lesson plan is gonna be focused upon the 12 bar blues, but like I'm saying, once you get into these things, they're going to be a really fun technique for you to start applying to jazz tunes, you know, swing numbers, rockabilly tunes, and of course blues. So let's zoom in on the neck and get started. Well, what I've done for a lesson plan on this topic is take the typical one, four, five set of chord changes that would be found in either an eight bar or 12 bar or 16 bar blues, and I've composed three different horn shot style guitar parts. Now I gotta say, I have leaned this in the direction of the 12 bar blues progression, but if you wanted to modify it, you could get it to work in an eight bar or a 16 bar progression as well. Now the first idea I wanna run through is gonna be involving the chord of the uh, uh, progression that's gonna be the root or the tonic chord, and we we are going to be working in the key of C, so the tonic chord, of course, will be the C dominant seventh chord. Now, what we're going to do is uh, take a look particularly at some very specific tones of that uh, C7 chord. We're going to go with the uh, root on the sixth string at eighth fret, and then we're also going to have that flat seven tone. It's a B flat that's going to be on the fourth string at the eighth fret. Then we're also going to have that major third of that chord. It's an E. It's going to be up at the ninth fret of third string, and then up on the top there, we're going to have our perfect fifth, the G and it's at the second string, eighth fret. So those are the chord tones that we're gonna isolate and work on for the horn shot part that I have for you to learn. And we're also gonna be using some slide embellishments around uh, the inner tones on second and third strings to really kind of highlight things on that upper part. So how the part goes is it functions off the root, then into those uh, fourth and third string notes, and then we're gonna have that slide idea, slide it forward, and then we're just gonna tag that one more time, and then come into it with a slide once more. All together, it comes together to sound like this. So it's a really fun idea. You really get that kind of impression of uh, maybe a saxophone and a trumpet playing a couple of uh, notes up top together and have that blended sound, so it's kind of a fun idea. So what we're gonna do is uh, take a break. You can work on that a little bit. We're gonna come back in a moment and we're gonna take a look at the four chord of this 12 bar blues progression. Okay, the next idea that we're gonna look at is gonna be built off the four chord of this key of C blues, which is of course the F dominant seventh chord. But what we're gonna do for the horn part idea is we're going to uh, function off the fifth guitar string and add an extension onto the chord, which is going to give us an F dominant nine. So the ninth extension gets added in. It's just up there. It's a G tone, so the second degree up an octave. 
giving us a G on that F chord, making it into a ninth extension. So the horn shot part that I've organized for this idea operates between the inner strings of the fourth through to the second string, and it also involves a double stop and a single note hit up at the highest top two strings. So breaking it all down, we're gonna start off the root, then we're gonna tag the upper part of the chord, top three strings, then we're going to add in just the two notes, upper two strings, then the 10th fret note on its own, which is kind of like a 13th interval, really nice sound on that one. And then what we're gonna do next is go to the interior notes there off the fourth to the second strings, and do another one of those slide ideas. You can see a lot of these parts, they've got the cool slide sound to them, the embellishment. Then it finishes off, which is one more tag into that chord up top. so it's a real fun part. Work on that for a couple of seconds there and get it all organized for yourself. And then uh, we're gonna come back in just a moment and I'm gonna show you how to do the uh, turnaround of this 12 bar blues. Well, the final horn shot idea that I have for you is going to be based upon the 12 bar blues turnaround lick, which is the last four measures of the 12 bar blues. Now this time, the horn shots are going to be operating from the keys fourth and fifth chords. So in the key of C, that gives us a G dominant seven and an F dominant seven. Now the main idea I've gone with here will be placing my focus again on the inner chord tones and some uppermost chord tones. Everything pretty much is gonna be based around ideas of double stops though. So uh, what I wanna do is just run through it for you, give you an idea of how it all gets set up. We're gonna start at the 10th fret G on fifth string. So we've got the root of that G7 chord. And we're gonna focus on that note first and then go jump over to the third and second strings where we're gonna get our flat seven with the uh, major third. like that. And then what we're going to have happen is a slide idea. It's going to be kind of like a grace note slide idea. It's going to move up from the ninth position into the tenth position, doing a little minor third interval here. But what that minor third interval allows us to get going on is we have a perfect fifth from the chord soleo, and we also have the major third still. So that idea goes like this. And that covers the sound of that G7 chord, but then we can just take it and, and duplicate it down a whole step to cover that F7 chord. So it has, you know, same, same impact. So you're up here on G, move it down. It's the exact same thing. So that's gonna be really easy to tackle because once you get that idea down in one place, all you're doing is taking it down a whole step. So that takes care of both the G7 and the F7 chord. The only thing left is to cover our tonic chord, the G. So we're gonna be working again off that uh, low root of uh, eighth fret C tone on sixth string. And then we're gonna grab the flat seven and the major third from that chord on the eighth and ninth frets of fourth and third string. Then we're gonna do a bar, and that's gonna take care of having the uh, root with the fifth. So we have it up top. There's a small bar chord idea, top two strings, eighth fret. Then we're gonna get really interesting here. We're gonna have an 11th fret B flat, so that's the flat seven tone of the chord. And we're also going to add in a 10th fret third string. Now that's a very interesting sound because right there, we're now we're including a fourth interval. So that's not really you know, gonna be a fantastic chord tone, but for the moment that we play it, it'll be kind of a cool sound. And then we're gonna move down from there and this is finishing off, this is the final measure, 12th bar. And we're going to do the uh, major third with the perfect fifth, that's ninth and eighth frets on the third and second strings. And we're moving back and forth, so we're getting that eighth fret in there too, and seventh fret. Just kind of shooting back and forth there, just sliding outside of the chord, just a half step. And then jumping up here and grabbing the 10th and 11th frets. And that's kind of a unique sound to finish off on. We got our flat seven tone. So really strong chord tone. But we also have a new tone up there as well. It's a ninth interval. So it's like we've got a, a dominant ninth idea coming in up on the very top end there. Very cool sound off that. So we just have that uh, finishing line going. So all together that C7 chord sets itself up like this. Really nice idea. And then the whole thing completes to go like this.
and that creates our nice turnaround phrase there. So that you put all that stuff together, and basically you got a nice 12 bar blues concept with a whole bunch of these horn shot ideas for uh, all the parts. It's a very fun sound to work on. When you put it all together, it's just a lot of fun to jam on. You know, serious jazz and swing uh, blues bands are going to often include a sax player, maybe even a trumpet player in the group. But, you know, smaller ensembles, you know, like let's say uh, a three piece or even a four piece uh, group, uh, might not have a horn player in the lineup. And it's for these types of situations where a guitarist that has a well established uh, ability with these uh, horn style shots is really going to get an opportunity to apply these kinds of chord embellishments. So what I'm saying is learn the examples that we've given here and you know by all means go and spend some time working out plenty of your own horn shot concepts as well. All it takes is a few of these chord embellishments to really make a song come alive and sound really cool. And I think once you start applying them in these styles you'll probably find instances as well in other styles maybe soul music, R&B tunes, even some pop music where you're gonna be able to inject these things into the mix as well anyway that's all the time that I have for today as always I want to say thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel if at all possible maybe consider a small donation to help fund the guitar lessons project here every little bit helps in the studio otherwise have yourself a really great week and I will catch up with you next time bye for now my Blues Guitar Styles ebook is a masterclass course covering a huge amount of information with 8, 12, and 16 bar blues progressions, classic blues styles, plus all the important chord patterns. There's over 50 pages of information, including sections on blues techniques like slide, alternate tuning, and bending. This ebook has everything the guitar player needs for a solid foundation in blues guitar, including 27 MP3 audio tracks for easy at home study. Blues Guitar Styles is available for instant download in the View Our Products area at creativeguitarstudio.com.